Hey there, and welcome to this ProFlows Plus Quick Tip. I am Cameron, and we've been talking a lot about camera shake in past quick tips. So I wanna show you how you actually apply camera shake to a camera. So you can see here, we've got a very basic scene. We've got a point light up here, creating some light and shadow. We've got the word shake, which is sitting on a floor like this. It's a checkerboard, and we've got a fill layer for that floor. We're going to go to Layer, New, Camera. And we're just gonna create um, a camera. We'll do 28 millimeter, that's fine. And it is a one node camera, okay? So I'm gonna show you the difference between a one node and a two node with camera shake. So we're gonna ultra option click for position and we're going to add wiggle. And we're gonna do something like three, 150. And we're going to play this back and we'll see how it looks. And there you go, there is the playback. And you can see that it's very, um, it's intense, right? It's an intense camera shake. So we could do something where maybe it's three, but it's, oh, let's just say it's 50 instead of 150. And it's gonna be a much, um, you know, it's still three times per second, but at an amplitude of 50 versus 150. So it's a much smoother type of camera shake. And we'll take a look at how this looks. Here it goes, it's gonna preview. And there it goes. So it's still, you know, somewhat frenzied, but uh, you know, it's an interesting kind of kind of shake to it. So now let's let's try something totally different. Let's add another camera, and this will be a two-node camera, and we'll do 28 millimeter again. So we've got our two-node, which is our position of our camera here and our point of interest here, and we're going to hit P for position. We're going to set a wiggle expression here, and let's do something like one. 150 and let's preview this and what's interesting about this type of camera shake is that our point of interest is always going to stay here at the center but our camera is going to move around uh, that point of interest right so it's a little bit different than what we'd see with a one node camera where there is no point of interest but let's check this out so there's this movement right so it's much uh it's a lot smoother movement so I could even actually crank this up to something like 300 and we could actually raise our camera up. So we're looking down on the words here and let's preview this. And there's that camera shake. So that even looks uh, better to me than the first two versions. So you could play around with these values. You could add uh, a wiggle expression to the rotation X, Y, Z you could add wiggle to point of interest. You can really change it up even with just, you know, changing these numbers out and get totally interesting different types of results every single time. Hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, I do invite you to check out ProFlows Plus over at motionscience.tv.